Hi, my name is Jenny, and this is Jenny Who Blogs. Today I'm going to get creative with some spices and organic chicken thighs. I stopped at this wonderful spice shop and bought several spices. One was a bourbon smoked sugar, and the lady said it's great on salmon or pork or even on a sweet potato. So I wanted to try it on some chicken thighs and throw in some garbanzo beans and make a yogurt sauce to top it off. I thought I'd make it kind of like a Mediterranean dish. So come on, let's see how this turns out. You want to start with a package of organic chicken thighs, some garbanzo beans, and some black rice. Pour a generous amount of olive oil in the frying pan. Then you want to season both sides of your chicken thighs with turmeric, smoked paprika, pepper, and a little bit of the bourbon smoked sugar. Start your black rice, and I added a tablespoon of truffle oil just to give it a little more flavor. You want to brown your chicken thighs and cook them all the way through till they're nice and firm and completely cooked. I also juiced one whole lemon and added that to the chicken thighs while they were cooking. After they're cooked through, remove the chicken thighs from the frying pan and press two cloves of garlic into the same pan where the chicken was cooking. Then you want to add your garbanzo beans and stir. You might want to add a tiny bit more oil so that your garbanzo beans will get nice and crisp. While that's cooking, I made a sauce using yogurt and some French mustard I got from the spice shop. And enjoy! Well, I have to tell you, this was a messy dish. Good thing I had my apron on. I don't know if you've seen these, but these are super fun. They're little boas with the towels at the end. They are really helpful for making this dish. Anyway, the flavors all mix together really well. And I love the black rice and it complemented the chicken really well. I also divided the chicken into two different containers and I'll have one for later on in the week and I'll freeze one. Well, leave me a comment and tell me what you think. Be sure to click on the like and share it with your friends and family too. You can find this recipe on my YouTube channel and on my website at Ginny Who Blogs. And remember, cooking for one can be fun. And I'll see you next week.